Hey guys, welcome to the Calorie Minute brought to you by Diet.com. I'm Sarah, your host, and today I'm at the Cedars Hummus Plant in Ward Hill, Massachusetts. And today I'm going to show you just how hummus gets made and why the Mediterranean diet may be the diet that will help you keep off those pounds for good. Welcome to Cedars. This is the first part of the tour. Chickpeas is one of the ma is the main ingredient in hummus. Have you ever seen a chickpea before? They're about seven millimeters, I believe. All right. So, what happens is the hopper gets filled up with chickpeas. It goes through the washing machine first. But basically, what's going to happen? It's going to go down a conveyor. It's going to shake out any uh, uh, twigs or anything because they come from the ground. They fall into this giant washing machine, which the best way to describe it is like a jacuzzi, a whirlpool. They fill up these giant tubs with water. So the chickpeas are covered in water. And for a predetermined amount of time, they will sit and soak. Those giant tubs are brought over to this bean tipper. We've gone from a tiny uncooked chickpea to an uncooked expanded chickpea. The uncooked chickpeas are put on the rack and they're put in to the cooker. So we've gone from uncooked to soaked to cooked. You can see the difference. The chickpeas come out of the retort, they get tipped over into another hopper and up a upper conveyor belt into another hopper. This is gonna grind it all up, mush it up. So now it's going to come off here and go to the mixer. Can't really get too close, but if, can you see that? This is uh, finished hummus before it's been creamed. When we get back to my office, we'll uh, give it a taste test. This is a, pu this is a pump. A tank goes underneath the pump. Very simple. Pump comes down and the product goes through the pipes. Comes into a hopper. And it goes through this wonderful machine right here that helps cream the product. It gives it that creamy texture. Goes through the pipes and into the next room. This is the pasteurizer room. The product that was just pumped in goes to one of these three tanks. Heat it up to a certain temperature, it kills off bacteria. It's in the pasteurizing room and it's coming out one of these series of pipes. We've got all these pipes up here. And it's going to end up in a hopper. So now it's in a cup and it's going down a conveyor belt. Now we're going to go to packaging. The product is going to come off the filler down the conveyor through a metal detector. It's going to get labeled. Coming down, but it's still open. It's not, it's not secure yet for the customer. That's what happens here. It's coming down, it's got that top seal on it. It's gonna go through a uh, heat tunnel. And now we have a secured piece of hummus. Depending on what the order calls for, we have guys down here that Make sure everything is correct, that the ring seal's on, it's on correctly, that it has the right uh, amount of ink on it. Every day that we package something, we save one sample. If a customer should call, or, a, or, or the customer being the store, should call and say there is a problem with the October 30th uh, hummus, it's blowing up or it's sour or uh, it doesn't taste right. We have a sample on hand that we can try. We can determine if the product, if it happened in-house or if it happened somewhere out-house. Let's take a dander, a try, of this roasted red pepper hummus that just came off the mixer. Remember I took it? Yep. You like roasted red pepper? I do. 
Don't be afraid. Sorry, I you want to try? Anybody mm. else? Want to try? It doesn't have it's red. So it doesn't have all the red That's peppers in it yet, though. It's good though. It's delicious though. Even the cameraman gets to try. Mm -hmm. <laughs>